Welcome, welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist Channel. I'm Ranita. Happy, wonderful Wednesday. It is June the 26th, 2019. And welcome to the Daily Fresh Tarot card reading that's coming at you after my meditation time, prayer time, and for the Spirit Tribe and the subscribers that are here or new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. Now, we are diving into today's Daily Fresh Tarot card reading. Drum roll, please. <laughs> It is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. All right. Now today, what the divine is saying is that there is new relationships forming that you desire, that you have wanted, and you'll have great peace of mind um, in these relationships. Looking, the relationships statuses are looking good as the as you enter enter in to new friendships new relationships, new uh, even partnerships in work and business uh, relationships as well, okay? So, and you're going to have some renewed relationships that are coming in as well with this energy, all right? So, is everything is looking very promising on the relationship area. Now, if for some reason today this doesn't resonate with you or align with you, trust and believe if you look back at the other tarot readings for the past couple of days and you come up to today you will see things start tying in even if you don't see it or feel it trust and believe by faith and not what you see that relationships are forming because it is new wonderful energy all right so you'll and don't look back at your past want to align that as well don't look back at your past so that that way you are not focusing on your past, but staying in the present and knowing that there is new things on the horizon with relationships. We're in a new season and renewal, so your desires are being met Okay, in this area, even when you can't see. This reading is a general reading, so uh, it's not a one-on-one -on -one reading, so it's generalized. So it, it will resonate with those and some it may not, but tie in the rest of the beginning of the week and the following and the further into the week and you'll see things align. That's why it's good to follow the daily readings and do what? What do we do here? Spiritual uh, practitioners, magical practitioners. We journal. We journal so that we can stay consistent. Now with the, the quote that was given to me to tie in to this Ace of Cups energy and this new relationship and things that's desired and looking good is that the quote came in. We come to, as I was doing my research and sitting down meditating is that um, we come to love not by finding a perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfected perfectly. OK, so the quote is in tying this is, is we come to love not by finding a perfect person, but by learning to see um, an imperfect person. All right. Learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. OK, so that quote is by Sam King to love and be loved. All right. So this that ties into knowing about finding a perfect person, but looking at the imperfect person perfectly. All right. And in tying into past relationships, uh, new relationships that are renewing themselves and renew relationships, new relationships and brand new ones that are looking good from the desires and form forming of what you have asked for and what the divine is lining up with this season. It's very important to stay in the present so that you are looking, you are finding that perfect person or persons and relationships for you. The imperfections are perfect. Don't be afraid to step out of your, your as, the, as I'm going over this and the, the angels are giving this to me. Don't be apply fear into your today so that you will miss so that you don't miss the opportunity to meet new people okay don't live in your past experiences so that will stagnate you into the newness of today or the renewal and have an open spirit and an open mind and an open heart which is your heart chakra in the center to be involved with this newness so that you can move in this shift, not getting stuck, not to be stagnant. Because why? We come to love not by finding a perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. All right. So this is a good season to 
draw in these relationships. We've been talking about the home environment. We've been talking about um, shining the light. You know, the hermit car has been coming up this week. That means things is tying in. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Get out and take walks. If, if you're by yourself, take walks. Go to a Starbucks. Go to the local cafes if you're in um, the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. Sit out and have some tea or soda, whatever you drink, water, whatever it is. And people watch. Get involved. Send that, in, that energy out of I'm available to develop relationships and friendships. It's a perfect season to do such. Release that fear of, you know, I never have good friends or I never meet new people. Or, They're always doing me wrong or somebody is not or looking for the, the bad before you can look for the good. Have an open heart. Open your heart for new things so that you can have fulfilling relationships. This is a very perfect um, a word in season right now, okay? So I love you for watching today. Don't forget to click that wiggly bell down below, ding dong ding, to get the uh, daily fresh card reading that's coming to you on a daily basis. Don't forget that we do offer intuitive readings that will change your life. There's no coincidence that you come into this channel today so that you can have this wonderful word that I'm. you're finding a imperfect person perfectly doing intuitive readings that would change your life. There is no person that is perfect, but we are imperfect perfectly. So come and intertwine with your spirit, with mine and the divine and the source so that you get the readings in your life and change your life and be guided into perfection of the journey that you need to take for yourself and not living in the past of fear but and not living in the future of anxiety but living in perfect peace in your todays okay and so too we do offer spell work that will change your life they're beautiful they're they're wonderful some of the clients uh i've been servicing 20 plus years you know i'm a veteran in the business as well of is not being a business, but it is my passion. You know, we have an uproar of spiritual businesses coming out. I've been in the um, in this line of my giftings for 20 plus years, not including a child, a, as a child and a teen, knowing that I had certain gifts and my great grandmothers and my ancestors were endowing me with that downloaded information and I was walking in those things as well. So um, it's a wonderful thing to get in to do spell work and also to channel your own intuitive gifts because there are so many people here that question their gifts and question who they are. And you are a gifted person. You are a spiritual being living in a human experience. Okay. So Get those things done. We're going into the new month. We're getting ready to hit the solar eclipse. We're going into two new moons for July. There's a lot of great things that are happening and that are in store for you. But go on and get those readings so that we can do those private things privately. And you can trust in someone and know that that information never leaves uh, the spiritualist here, but it, it never leads to go anywhere else, but it goes into your life and it multiplies many blessings so that you can change the direction or increase the direction in your life. Okay. So I love you for watching today. Have a great and magical day. Don't forget to dig deep and trust in yourself. Who do we trust in first? You. That's who you the only blueprint of your life. You are divinely made. No one has your fingerprints. The divine make your only fingerprints. They're not copyable. <laughs> non copyable okay? So I love you. Love you, new subscribers. Welcome to the family here. Uh, you are um, so welcome here. You are loved. I love you. Have a great and wonderful, productive, wonderful Wednesday. See you later. Bye-bye.